Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the first unboxing for April 2022 and it is from Discovered Beauty. This has just arrived today. It is a lovely early sneak peek for you all. You need to have signed up by the 10th of this month if you want to receive this particular box. Um, they ship around about the 14th of the month. It's £25 if you're a subscriber, £30 for a one-off box. I have a discount code which is LMB15 and that will get you 15% off your first box. All details are in the description box down below i'll try and do a pinned comment if i remember um the link that i sent through is not an affiliate link i don't get anything if you use that link at all but i am kindly gifted this box every month which is just fab it's my favorite box it's consistently good it is um it's inclusive so it's for all ages all skin types skin tones and um it is like more of a lifestyle box but it is has some fantastic makeup products generally each month. So if you like getting makeup in your boxes and things that you don't tend to see in other subscription boxes, this is brilliant. As I say, it's consistently strong each and every month and it is by far, hands down, my favorite box that I receive. And um, if I was to only get one box, I think it would be this one. I just love it, absolutely love it. So let's get inside and see what we've got. So yeah, you've got until the 10th to sign up for this one ship on the 14th i think i've covered everything but do check the description box down below just in case it seems ages ago since i filmed um yeah i don't know i'm just like enjoying life a bit and i've not been filming that much i've not been doing any of my projects or anything like that so inside we've got a couple of little leaflets and this is ah, how it comes always packaged really lovely very simply the packing peanuts in here are made from starch so you can just dissolve them in water and um, we have got a little thing, a little booklet here, which says In Light Beauty. Oh, so I wonder if this is something to do with something we have inside. I'll hold it here. And another thing from In Light Beauty. So I'm thinking we have probably got something by this brand. I don't know who these are. I've not heard of them before, but it does say on the front 100% organic. So that's interesting. Um, I've got a little handwritten note. They're very lovely. Oh, that's really cute. Congratulations on reaching your 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you. And thank you all of you guys too, because it's you guys that have um, got me here. It's like, I still can't believe I've reached 7,000 subs. It's, it's mad. Um, so yeah, thanks so much, guys. And here we have the edit card. Um, it just tells us a little bit about inside. Um, it's always full-size products in this box. I think you should get between four and six products. Um... I can't remember the last time we only got four products, to be honest. It's normally quite a few that we get. And they're just incredible. And last month, we had, as one of the products, it was seven lip products. It's absolutely crazy. Do go check out last month's unboxing. Um, completely blown away. So, we actually cannot see any sneak peeks inside here. It's just jam-packed, full of packing peanuts. So, I'm going to put it down. Let me just read you a little bit about this one's edit. The theme is Beauty Made Simple. It just says, let's make beauty simple, DBB fam. Sometimes we just need to make things a little more simple. In the April edit, you'll find a wonderful assortment of beauty items that aim to make your routine a little bit more simpler. So yeah, that's a really nice, just little simple introduction. Um, don't use words when you don't need to. I'm just going to stick my hand in. What is this? Okay. This is the first thing we've got. Um, it kind of looks like, I don't know, like maybe microfiber i don't know if it's a, like um, a face cloth or something i'm not sure but let's see what we have it is oh i absolutely love these it is for your hair these are absolutely brilliant i've got a couple already i am honestly i love them they, they just stay on your hair so much easier than trying to get a big bulky towel on and um, i will demonstrate it in a minute in case you haven't seen one of these before so this is siberian microfiber hair towel the rrp is 12 pounds just as washing your hair needn't be a hassle this hair towel from siberian is made from microfiber which means it is gentle on your hair to help prevent breakage it also um, it is also in a turban style, which makes it easier for drying. What's more, when you are deep conditioning or having a hair treatment, you can use a towel to help keep the heat in to enhance the effects of deep conditioning and our hair treatments. I certainly use mine as well if I'm doing hair masks, just because it stops your hair going all over and it's just a really easy way. I'm going to show you how you can do this. 
Now, some people put these buttons at the back or at the front. I tend to, which way do I do it normally? I think I normally do it at the back because obviously if you're washing your hair um, and it's over, you can do it either way, but generally it's not going to work because my hair's not wet. But obviously you get your hair, it's all stuck on top of your head. I hope you're appreciating this demo. It's not easy with dry hair. But I assure you this will work so easy when you've got your hair um, when you're washing it. I'm going to take my glasses on for a second. So you get it on your head, you gather your hair up, twist it round, <laughs> and then it's got a little loop on the end here. You've got a button on the back of your head and you basically just hook the loop around the button. Put this on so I can see you all. Ta-da! And that is it. How easy is that? That's how I use mine. Um, whether that is the correct way or not, I don't know. But this works for me. It stays on. It's really great if you get ready for a night out. and um, keeps your hair up and it helps to dry it as it's in there. But I mean, I don't know about you, but if you've used like a hand towel when you're drying your hair, either the hand towels are too short, especially if you've got a lot of hair and it ends up falling out all the time when you sort of tuck it in and it's really uncomfortable. This feels so light on your hair and it's great, honestly, absolutely brilliant. If you wanted to put a hair mask on and sleep in it, you could. Honestly, it's super easy. And then you just pop it off. Ta-da! <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, that is the first product. Um, I love it. I love these, so I'm never mad to get another one. They're absolutely brilliant. I think this is like my third one now. They're all different brands as well, so it's really good to be able to compare. But I think I've had something from Sambiri before. I think it was actually a hair treatment, like a hair tonic. So yeah, that is there. I'm gonna stick my hand in next, see what we have got. What is this? Oh, this feels big. Okay, now I don't know if this is part of something, I'm not sure. Um. We have got this, which is a Gokos eyeshadow and lipstick pens and travel pouch. Oh, this is part of something. So I'm going to leave this to one side um, and I'm going to just keep digging deep and seeing what I find. I've just got something off. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? I don't know. Next thing we have got is, okay, Dr. H. So this is hyaluronic, pure hyaluronic anti-aging hydrogel eye pads. Amazing. Um, five times two pads. So there's five sets of iPads. I love these sorts of things. Um, gosh, £69.50 is the recommended retail value for these. Um, you can now treat your under eyes to five treatments with the Dr. H's Hyaluronic Acid Eye Gel Patches. Made with collagen amino acids for cell regeneration and hy hyaluronic acid for moisture and firming. It's said that these patches can work wonders in just 10 minutes. They are cruelty free. Let's have a little look here. They are sealed. Um, let me get in. Okay. So yeah, just literally, here we've got here. So one, two, three, four, five sets of under eye patches. So I'm looking forward to that. It looks like there's lots of serum inside there. Can you see it all just squishing around? So yeah, absolutely fabulous. Yeah, £69.50, that is a high price item. Next thing we've got is a little jar, and this is Seatox Wild Ocean Glow. It's a seaweed face mask. This looks really natural. I'm not going to open this because as soon as I open it, it'll probably start to... Oh no, it's a powder. So it's one that you make up. When I was a teenager, we used to buy Fuller's Earth and just mix that. Um, so what does it say about this? So this is Seatox Wild Ocean Glow Face Mask. The RRP is £15. A face mask with multiple benefits and uses. It is a yes from us, crafted with seaweed kelp, which has 20 skin boosting nutrients. Green clay is cleansing, pH balancing and matcha tea, green tea for reducing inflammation and evening your evens your skin turn take a small amount in your hand and a few drops of water and apply to your face for five minutes each jar will make around 12 masks and can be also used as an exfoliator it's vegan cruelty free organic and 100 natural so yeah the rrp is 15 pounds so yes yeah, so i suppose you could use it a bit like maybe like the the micro daily foliant i don't know but if you can use that as a, an exfoliator it sounds like a similar thing or just make into a thicker paste pop on let dry wash off 
um let's have a little look so it is just literally just a fine powder not really a smell but i don't suppose you'd expect it to smell but um yeah i mean that's something different and it will keep for a while with it being a powder so that's good just don't get it wet don't dip your wet fingers inside which i know that's like really obvious <laughs> um next thing we've got is in light hair elixir and um, so that was the brand that we saw at the beginning on the little leaflets and it just says here so it's in light beauty hair elixir um nourish fortify and restore your hair with this delightful hair elixir made with argan avocado jojoba and rose rub rubiginosa oils and um, which can aid in improving elasticity and eliminating frizz it's also formulated the refreshing notes of lavender and lemon zest 2021 silver winner for the Green Parent Natural Beauty Awards. It's vegan, cruelty free, suitable for all hair types, and the RRP is £15. This sounds lovely. It just says use, so massage into wet hair, leave for a few minutes, and wash out with shampoo. Um, especially recommended after serving for dry and damaged hair, spray lightly onto the tips and leave on. This might be something really nice to take away on holiday. Um, the little stickers just come off the bottom. Um, oh, it's, it's good until um, February 25th, so it's got a long date on it. Um, I'm going to just, there, it's just a little, you can there, you see it's like an oil. I love this sort of thing. Oh, it smells really kind of like natural, botanically. Oh, I like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. So I suppose, yeah, do, do you just put it on? Massage into wet hair, leave, and then wash out with shampoo. Okay, so it's going to be like a pre-shampoo treatment. Um, maybe a little bit like the Philip Kinsley thing. So it's that thing where you have to plan to use it. You need to wet your hair first, use this, then wash out, and then continue with your normal thing. Unless you want to just stick it in your hair, hair ends. It might be nice on holiday, you know, if you're just like by the pool or on the beach, just to sort of put it on the ends of your hair, just to protect that from the sea and um sand and heat you know so i think that's what i might use it as just as a bit of a protectant when i'm out and about on the beach and things so it looks lovely next thing is what is this we have got a figs and rouge rose glow rose quartz halo dewdrops where are we oh on the back page so the, gosh this is 28 pounds um if glowing hydrated revitalized revitalized and smooth skin is what you're after then rose glow from figs and rouge can help set to help blur any imperfections and formulated with rose quartz and vitamins a c and e you will be well on your way this can be used alone or a small amount added to your moisturizer or foundation it's vegan and cruelty free this is the type of thing i really love I was just wondering if that's what I was using now. No, I'm using something different, but sort of similar. Um, I really like this type of product that's like a primer, but it's glowy, can use by itself or underneath makeup. And it usually just adds such a beautiful, beautiful, subtle glow. Oh, it's not sealed, so I'm just going to show you a little bit on the back of my hand. If it had a seal over it, I wouldn't have um, used it. So that's it here. And if you can see there... So you can just see how it adds that gorgeous, gorgeous sheen. But honestly, it's usually so subtle, but you can see it definitely just adds a bit of something. And um, it is beautiful underneath your makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to have that. Okay, so the last product I'm actually refilming because on my first film of this, I made such a mess of it and a real meal of it. And um, so I had to find out something online, which I've done so I can now tell you a little bit better about the product. So this is what we saw earlier at the start of the unboxing, which was this kind of like felt roll. And in here as well, there is also a lip product and an eye product. So I'll just tell you a bit about it first and then I will show you all about it since I know all about it now. <laughs> and it is the GoCos eyeshadow and lipstick pen and travel pouch. Um, traveling with makeup has never been easier now that GoCos is around. GoCos has made their makeup travel friendly, refillable and quick and easy to use. Receive a roll-up makeup pouch in either grey and pink, nude rose, steel blue or grey and orange to store your new beauty ties. No, oh, beauties. <laughs> your new beauties, not beauty ties. <laughs> I'm still making a mess of this. Um, receive a lip creator duo lipstick pen in either Emotional Splendid, Fuchsia, Heat Wave, Supreme, Divine, Feel So Good or Cherry Blossom. They can be applied lightly for 
a hint of colour or apply to create bold colour payoff. Also, you can even use them as blush shades. And then receive an eyeshadow pen in either opal, vintage or topaz. Perfect to use for a quick pop of colour. The cruelty free. Um, and they're going to be going live on Instagram with the UK director of Girl Cost in April. So stay tuned on our socials. So if you want to see a little bit more about that, you'll be able to see them on Instagram. Um, the roll up pouch is $6.75. The lipstick duo is £25 and the eyeshadow pen is $13.50. So let's have a look at the lipstick first of all. Um, so it is a duo here. On this side, it rolls out and then you've got a... Um, You've got the colour in here, it's actually quite interesting, and you've got like a sponge tip here. So when you close it, and um, it gets the colour on there, bring it out, and then it just applies it almost like on a brush, it's like a spongy applicator. And so every time you close it, it gets the product on, you come out and you reapply. So if you want to build it up, you just need to pop that in and out. This is like on a spring-loaded thing which goes into the product inside. Can you see? don't know if you can see but anyway this has got the product in you can see it there and it's a really gorgeous like rosy nude shade really really nice and then on the other side let me just close that up we have got this kind of like little um wind up like mini bullet and um, the shade is just so gorgeous it is right up my street literally the type of shade I go for all the time. So I'm really happy about that. So you can build a stronger color with this, a lighter color with that. I could even put this on and then just, I suppose you could actually use the spongy bit just even to, to buff it out if you wanted to and like to sheer it out if you just wanted to use a little bit and that would also work, I think. Um, I've only just thought of that now. So yeah, that's that. And then you have got here the eyeshadow. And this is really interesting. It's got like a mineral powder creamy um, product, <laughs> very descriptive, in the cap. So when you screw it, unscrew it, again, you've got like this little sponge applicator, which has then got the right amount of shade on it. And then you just pop it on like that. So it's literally just a case of popping it in and if you want to get more product, just pop it in a couple of times. It's got it on here. And then you do it. Now, mine's only a really pale shade, so it doesn't show up as much. Can you see it there? It's really nice and natural. This is really soft and it bounces about. So, so you're not putting a lot of pressure on your lids, which I really like. So you can be really gentle with the skin around there. So we've got the, the felt pouch as well which feels quite stiff i don't know if that'll soften up as you use it but then i suppose you just pop your products in here like so you could probably still put like other pencils and mascaras maybe some brushes and then it just rolls up i think this is what you're meant to do it's got this little elastic bit here pop that across it keeps it together you can fling that in your bag um I would say it just seems to struggle to stay shut a little bit. It's, have I done it the wrong way? I wonder if it's meant to be on the outside, which would seem a bit weird, but it feels like that's the way it's gonna go naturally. Let me just try and close that up. Um, I think I'd probably do it inwards. Yeah, I'll do it inwards, it still sticks out. Um, I'm not overly keen on the felt pouch, if I'm honest, but I quite like these products that are inside so that for me isn't a, a big sort of deal so yeah that is everything that we've got it's quite an interesting thing as i say you do get a few different shades of um products so what i've got might be different to what you receive in your box but i am absolutely loving loving that lip color and actually this is such a nice color not dissimilar to what i'm wearing today is that is so weird it's almost like they know me <laughs> I don't know is that not really odd how strange is that anyway I'm going to just run through now back on my original filming all the products we've got and then yeah let's skip back in time to my other part of the video so that's everything was that clear as mud let me just run through what we've got so we have got the little makeup roll which I don't know if I would use this to be honest um it's quite stiff kind of felt but I do like the products inside. I love that lipstick, love the lipstick. So we've got the lipstick and the eyeshadow and the little roll. We have got the Figs and Rouge Rose Glow sort of primer, mixy thing to go in with your foundation. We have got the face mask, 
from Sea Talks, which I'm interested in. This looks really nice as well. And I'm probably just going to use this on the ends on my holidays um, just to protect it. And then like by the time I get in the shower on the night before I get ready to go out for my evening meal and things, it'll all be washed out. But um, that might be a nice way to use that. We have got the eye patches, a set of five eye patches, which I'm looking forward to as well. I do love an eye patch. And then we have got the hair sort of turban microfiber towel do that which i just love these so yeah the more i get of these the better um i'm happy to have another one in my collection so that is everything this month some really interesting products and some different things to what we've normally had um do let me know what you think of this month's box i'd be interested to see 25 pounds which i think is a nice price for this and um, some really good value products and then um, that is everything thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you all in my next video Bye for now.